Hello YouTube, today we have another entry-level phone review. We have the Galaxy Young 2. It's a 3.5 inch, has a 3.5 inch screen. It has uh, volume controls on the side, the power button here. It has uh, also 3.5 inch uh, headphone jack on top. On the back we have the 3.2 megapixel camera, the speaker, on the downside we have the micro USB port. On the back here we have a, a, a surface that looks like leather but it's actually plastic. Anyway, let's go back to the phone. Let's see some about the specs of this phone. It has a 1 GHz single core processor, 512 kilobytes of RAM, 4 GB of internal storage space which can be extended to 32 GB. We said it has a 3.2 megapixel camera which also records video at 480p at 24 frames per second. It also has uh, NFC, GPS, accelerometer and of course Wi-Fi. Now the good thing about this phone is that it has 4.42 KitKat which is not the latest version of Android but uh, it can move through the menus very smooth and very quick and you can, as you can see here. Also, let's see that doesn't move like here. So go back the back button here. Let's search and okay. Search and something here. Anyway, now let's see how the menus work. Let's see some of the features of the phone. It has a calculator. Let's go back, it has a clock. Anyway, you can see it moves quite smooth. Let's check out the camera. Well, the camera as I said before it's only 3.2 megapixels and you can do some it has some options here you can mess around with for instance let's see the auto white balance no you can make it more white you can have a timer here as I see as I can see uh, let's take a picture let's see what how this looks like and let's see here well, you cannot expect enough from a 3.2 megapixel camera, but it's basic stuff. Now let's go back again. Let's see the GPS. Google Maps, to be more exact. Now it has found our position in Greece. And it can move quite smooth here. Let's go back. And now let's check the internet surfing here. Let's see. Okay, Google. And uh, nine gag. I intentionally chose nine gag because it has a lot of pictures and it can be quite laggy sometimes even in dual core processor phones. But it, you see, it, we have. The pictures here and it moves not very fast it takes some time to put the pictures but you know it's a single core processor and when you buy this kind of phone you expect to have some basic internet functions which this phone I think that actually provides now in general this phone, I like this phone because it's quite small in size. It has it's a Samsung phone, which you can go not go wrong with this brand, and you can do the basic stuff at the price well below 100 euros. What I don't like about this phone is the internet experience. But as you know, it's a single core processor. You cannot expect too much from that kind of a phone. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.